prepared for the worst but hoped for the best. And in our expectations, we were hopeful that the, this petition would be dismissed. And in actual fact, our preliminary legal objection was evident of our initial position that this petition is not one that is of merit. So with this dismissal, it was something that we are happy about and we were hoping that the court will see merit in our argument that this petition is without merit. We were not surprised because as we have said and in, as when I addressed the press last time, I, I mentioned the fact that Rojo Metal Nunu's evidence is irrelevant to their case. And I share the same view that Dr. Peter White's evidence was also not relevant to the issues at stake. Every interview that I grant, I read the issues, the five issues that were set down for trial. And the evidence that they gave, that there was an errand and they were sent by the, first, uh, the chairperson of the first, petition, uh, first respondent, are not relevant to the five issues. They do not help in any way to determine these five issues. And as such, I was not surprised when the court stated that it was only PW1 who was a relevant um, um, witness. And to add, to use the words of the court, that they were, it was fanciful evidence, fanciful evidence that PW2 and PW3 gave. The court stated that if they had issues with the collation sheet, if they had given evidence to that effect, that may have been a better use of our time and a better adduction of evidence. And I, I share in that opinion.